Marijuana Plant Anatomy and Life Cycles The anatomy of the marijuana plant is fascinating, as are its life cycles. In this video, we will explore both in detail, from the different parts of the plant to the stages of its life. Read on to learn more about this intriguing topic. What does a marijuana plant look like? Marijuana plants are typically short and bushy, with thick leaves and stems. The leaves are usually a deep green color, although they can also be purple or red. The flowers of the plant are small and greenish white, with hairy sepals. Molly and female marijuana plants look very similar. The life cycle of a marijuana plant. Marijuana plants go through several different life stages, from seed to flower. Here's a look at the life cycle of a marijuana plant. Seeds. Marijuana seeds are small and hard, similar in appearance to sesame seeds. They can be purchased from online retailers or dispensary. Germination. Germination is the process of getting your seeds to sprout. To germinate marijuana seeds, you'll need to soak them in water for 24 to 48 hours. Vegetative stage. The vegetative stage is when your plants are growing and developing leaves and stems. This is the longest stage of the marijuana plant's life. Flowering stage. The flowering stage is when your plants begin to produce buds. This usually happens when the plants are exposed to 12 hours of darkness per day. Pots of the cannabis plant. Cannabis plants have many different pots that all play a role in the plant's life cycle and anatomy. The leaves are perhaps the most important part of the plant, as they are responsible for photosynthesis. The leaves are usually green, but some varieties can have different colors like purple or red. They are covered in tiny pores called stomata, which allow carbon dioxide to enter the leaf and combine with water to create glucose. The stem is another crucial part of the plant, as it provides support for the leaves and helps transport water and nutrients throughout the plant. The roots are another vital part of cannabis plants, as they anchor the plant in place and absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Male versus female marijuana plants. When it comes to marijuana plants, there are some key differences between males and females. For starters, female plants tend to be shorter and bushier than their male counterparts. They also have more leaves, and their flowers are typically more resinous. Males, on the other hand, are generally taller and thinner than females. They also have fewer leaves, and their flowers are typically less resinous. How to determine the sex of a marijuana plant? Here are a few key things to look for when trying to determine the sex of your marijuana plant. 1. Look for flowers. Mallet plants will typically produce small, greenish-white flowers that cluster together in groups. Female plants, on the other hand, will usually have larger, more colorful flowers that grow individually. 2. Check the leaves. Mallet plants tend to have thinner leaves with fewer fingers or lobes, while female plants have thicker leaves with more fingers. 3. Examine the stems. Mallet stems are typically thinner and smoother than female stems, which tend to be thicker and hairier. Female marijuana plants. Female marijuana plants are the ones that produce the buds that people smoke. They have larger flowers than male plants and they grow differently. Early signs of a female cannabis plant. These are small, round structures that develop in the axils of the plant. The nodes will eventually produce flowers, but before they do, they will swell and turn red or purple. This is an indication that the plant is female. Mall and marijuana plants. For the most part, male and female marijuana plants look the same during the early stages of growth. It isn't until the plant begins to flower that growers can determine its sex. Mallet plants produce small clusters of flowers that grow in between the leaves and branches. These flowers contain the pollen needed to fertilize female plants. The pistils of these flowers are where the pollen from male plants is received and fertilization takes place. Once pollinated, a female plant will begin to produce seeds. Mall and marijuana plants are not typically used for consumption. They do have some medical applications. The pollen produced by males can be used to treat certain conditions like epilepsy and glaucoma. Early signs of a male cannabis plant. Early signs of a male cannabis plant can be difficult to identify. However, there are a few key characteristics to look for. Male plants tend to be taller and thinner than females with smaller leaves. The flowers on a male plant are also much less developed. These are small, round structures that contain the pollen needed to fertilize the female plants. What are hermaphrodite cannabis plants? Marijuana plants are both male and female, meaning they have the ability to produce flowers of both sexes. 
Hermaphrodite marijuana plants are usually caused by stress, such as heat or light stress. These plants can produce pollen, which can pollinate other female marijuana plants and create seeds. Hermaphrodite cannabis plants are not common, but they can be a problem for growers because they can root in a crop of sensimilla marijuana.